Hello friends, welcome to my channel and today's topic is Cellulose This is my plant cell This is its cell wall so the plant cell wall contains a structural component which is known as cellulose. There are lots of other polysaccharide along with cellulose in the cell wall matrix itself but cellulose is the most important of all of these. So cellulose is present in plant cells. If it is present in the cell wall there has to be some function right so what is the function of cellulose in the cell wall first function is it maintains the shape of the plant cell so it maintains the shape second function is the intracellular osmotic pressure is different than the extracellular osmotic pressure so the cell wall as in the cellulose withstands that pressure difference okay so it withstands osmotic pressure difference and the third function is the load bearing capacity okay now let's discuss some of the characteristics of the cellulose it is a primary structural component It is water insoluble. Okay. And the last characteristic is it is fibrous and tough. Moving to its actual structure. So So this is how the structure of cellulose looks like. This is one molecule of glucose, another molecule of glucose, okay? Glucose has six carbon, right? So we number the carbon atoms in a glucose molecule. So this is oxygen, first carbon, second carbon, third carbon, fourth carbon, fifth carbon and sixth carbon right so the first carbon is attached to the fourth carbon of the next glucose residue via a glycosidic linkage this linkage is known as beta 1 for glycosidic linkage we'll talk about its actual structure more in detail so 
a cellulose is made up of i have written here n okay because i cannot draw that many residues it is made up of 15000 glucose residues it is a homopolymer it is a linear polymer there are no branches and hydrolyzed by an enzyme called cellulase cellulase is not present in vertebrates okay what does cellulase do it hydrolyzes this particular bond thus cellulose is broken down into glucose residues okay it's normally present in herbivorous animal and that also in their intestine you know a symbiotic organism is present which releases this enzyme i'll give you an example termites also known as white ants they eat wood right wood is plant origin so termites have their food as wood and that is only possible because they have a symbiotic organism called as trichonympha this organism secretes cellulose this primary structure of cellulose was determined by a method which is known as methylation analysis this was the basic of cellulose we discuss about its uses to human beings the first use or the application of cellulose is paper products so paper has a major constituent as a cellulose it can be used in a cell uh, paper based industry fine Okay, the second is building materials. You have cellulose insulation used in the building. This is nowadays becoming very popular. You mix it with boric acid and it will function as a fire retardant. So third is science based. Like normal laboratory use. For example, TLC, the stationary phase in TLC can be cellulose and you know lots of other uses in the laboratory so these were the few applications and that's it for the video if you like the video subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching bye bye